All right, so three amateur mistakes that ruin an off the top freestyle. Number one, stop starting. That's my word, stop starting. Now, there's kind of two ways you see this. First, you get that person that wants to bust a freestyle, the beat is dropped, and they're just saying, yo, yo, uh, yo, check it for like way too long. Uh, usually that's a person that's trying to think of a really ill line to start it off with, thinking that after they say that ill line, their brain's just gonna give them whatever they need to keep going, but truthfully, they're gonna stop immediately after that. So you have that one guy, and then the other guy you got is the one that will freestyle for like four or five bars and then just go, ah, yeah, yeah, I'm ill. Uh, you know I'm real. You know the, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, and then stop, okay? This is not good. There's the old expression, practice doesn't make perfect, perfect practice makes perfect, right? You need to train your brain to get used to the idea of putting itself under the fire and going through it, walking through the flames, so to speak, pause, right? So your brain's chemistry, when you freestyle, we've done videos on this, anybody who's watching our freestyle content, your brain's chemistry is rewiring itself to lower its inner critic and put forward the creative prefrontal cortex, the creative parts of your brain, all right? so. In order to do that, you need to train yourself to just, number one, when the beat drops, immediately start rapping. Do not wait. Do not try to think of an ill first line to go, because trust me, your brain, after it's said it, will not know what to do next. You need to train yourself to just go, and even if you mess up or stumble a little bit, that's totally fine. Number two, if you kind of trip up or you mumble or something like that, or there's something, I mean, you can sell a lot of records mumbling these days, but if you make a mistake, basically, it's okay to correct yourself or just be like, yeah, that didn't make sense, but I'm still intent and just go on, all right? So stop starting, very amateur. Uh, you're not tricking anybody, so avoid that. Number two, what I call murmuring, all right? So we got mumbling, mumble rap, let's not get into that conversation, but we got murmuring. Murmuring to me is when you're like trying to freestyle, but you're not raising your voice enough to train your brain that when it thinks of a good rhyme or any rhyme at all, that it will say it out loud and project it. So a lot of people when they're beginning freestylers, uh, they might do it by themselves in their bedroom or they might be nervous. So what they're doing is kind of practicing their freestyle like, y'all check it, y'all I got ill things. You know, I'm willing, I'm making Kenley. I'm saying, you know what I mean? And that kind of, they're murmuring, right? So when you find yourself, and this will, we'll get a little bit more to this in point number three, but when you find yourself saying, I think of ill rhymes in my brain, but when I speak it out, it doesn't come out as ill. Part of the reason probably is because you're murmuring and you're not, tra you're not getting that muscle memory, right? You got the brain, you got the mouth, you got the throat muscles, pause. Uh, you got all different levels of this like, face structure and all the muscles and bones or whatever, whatever up in this joint right here, right? And when you practice freestyling, you wanna get to the point that when you think it, you say it. And you not only say it in, a, in like actually say a word, but you say it in a confident way, right? So do not practice murmuring. I want you to vocalize your freestyles, open up all this, get used to your jaw moving and saying it and projecting your voice while you're going off the top. And that'll start to dissipate that I just sound like I'm so nervous when I freestyle part of it. Now, number three, what I call imagine rapping. Imagine rapping, right? And this, this could be applied to written rhymes as well. This is the cats that kind of similarly say, oh, I think of an ill rhyme in my head, but when I freestyle, it doesn't work. Usually the reason this is happening is one of the two uh, first points that we made. But another reason why is because you're probably not practicing spitting it out and getting used to your mind vocalizing it, right? So really it comes down to if I think of an ill rhyme, I have to say it immediately, talk about freestyle, and practice trying to construct it on the fly. All right? Now, to this day, even though I've been freestyling for a long time, occasionally I'll think of a really ill bar and I was kind of trip up on it because I'm trying to organize it in a tight way. But that's okay because each time I practice, I get better at my brain being able to reorganize while I'm speaking out loud. That's one of the main major keys of freestyling and what makes freestylers really good is that they are able to speak while still thinking of other things. So it really feels like once you get good at it, you're like blah, 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 but right up here, I'm just 
organizing thing and there's this whole like construction factory in my brain, but I'm still able to say it out loud. So you have to practice doing that as well. Now, just as a quick tip along with this to give you a little bit more value here, uh, be sure that you're practicing pausing, meaning that you're not you're, you're uh, taking breaths and not trying to always say something in a freestyle. That'll also buy you a little bit more time to kind of construct it. So if you notice the best freestylers in the world or experienced freestyles in general, they will take, they'll stop occasionally, not literally stop the freestyle, but when they're, they'll say the bar, say the bar. Everything I say is great and hard. I'm about to take this far. See what I'm doing there? Like if I was, if there was a beat playing, I would be leaving that place open. And as long as I'm on beat, it will just sound like a rap, a syncopated rap, all right? So that's the pausing side of it. Now, as I always mention, we do have a free training available to you that goes into how to create rhymes on the fly and how to never run out of rhymes again. So go to the first link in the video description box below for that where we're gonna build on a lot of these concepts totally free. But looking back, you wanna make sure that you sound pro in your freestyles and that's a big thing to you? All right, number one, start immediately and if you mess up, that's okay. Correct yourself in the middle of the freestyle or from the big homie Drew, it's fine to say, yo, that I messed up. Okay, I effed up, but I'm still about to pass the test, bruh. I'm the professor with the lecture and just keep going. All right, number two, do not murmur in the freestyle. Don't practice even if you're by yourself just going like this i'm trying to get better not like dude even the mumble rappers uh project their voice enough to be heard all right <laughs> all right number three don't imagine rap like if you find yourself being like i think of ill stuff but i can't say it out loud well you gotta practice doing it out loud so your brain gets used to doing that your brain like i imagine myself lifting 50 pounds but every time i actually lift it which is like twice a week like I can't yeah well you got to be in the gym lifting 10 pounds and 25 pounds and 50 pounds all right so hopefully this video helps I've been your boy the big homie Drew I'll see you tomorrow thanks peace and love that was a weird ending all right <laughs>